Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, a custom order that I received from UK and she wanted this color. <laughs> and I found it through Eplik Outlet and I'm thrilled that I found this gorgeous yarn. So uh, it's not Angora Rabbit. It looks like Angora Rabbit. Just want to show you. So, uh, these are sold in a cone, and uh, it does look like Angora Rabbit when you look at it, because it gives you that fluff. Can you see the fluff? Yeah, and I've been knitting uh, with a similar yarn like this, and I've been purchasing from uh, all over the world, and uh, I've been uh, knitting and selling it on my Etsy shop. So um, this uh, bride to be, she uh, she wanted in this color, and it's really hard to find this color, but I did. Okay, so I'm going to make this yarn, but I want to add another yarn in it because uh, I just need to put something, you know, to give it a, a thickness a little bit. So. <laughs> funny part is I have the same color in my stash I bought this we used to in Canada we used to have liquidation world if you're Canadian you wouldn't you would know what liquidation world is so I bought these at liquidation world and I they closed over closed I believe over a decade ago I'm not quite sure when they closed but um yeah, so I am going to be knitting with this. So this is um, Patton's Lacetta. They used to sell gorgeous yarns, but they don't sell it anymore. So it's a very light two-weight yarn. I'll just give you some information. Okay, and it's recommending a... 3.25 knitting needle. I'm going to be knitting. So there it is mohair in it. So that's a good thing. Because this is acrylic, right? Or polyamide. I'm not quite sure what's in it. But there's no wool in it. So with adding this, can you see how gorgeous it is? Look at it. Like I can't believe the texture of this yarn. Look. The shiny, the shimmer. I'm, I'm so happy that I kept this yarn. Like, it's it's very good quality. Look at it. It says 25% mohair, 36% uh, acrylic, 39% nylon. And I'm so happy. Look, the color matches. Isn't it funny? Okay, so I'm going to start it with you. I'm going to be knitting top-down v-neck. And uh, lately, if you looked at my tutorials, I've been uh, showing a new technique that I've been uh, knitting with. So unfortunately, I'm not going to sit down and spin this, like two ply it or three ply it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to be knitting with three, three strands of yarn, just like this. So it will be like this. Can you see? So this uh, extra yarn will give a nice uh, texture to this gorgeous eyelash yarn. See? So I'm just going to start, and then uh, we'll go from there. So these three cones are from a cone. And then uh, Mr. Charter, he, uh, he, put, he made these uh, cakes. And then he two-plied it for me, so I am thrilled. That he did that or else I had to sit down and do it right just extra work for me so I, I really appreciate his so I am going to be starting and I'll be right back I just want to say that this bride is very lucky like she wanted this color Valera and then she got the exact color like you know it, it's really hard to find the same color that uh, it is really hard so the funny part is I had this mohair yarn 
and then I have found the same color so okay I am using a four uh, millimeter uh, knitting needle it's a Haya Haya I really like Haya Hayas so what I'm going to do is just give you an idea how the texture is going to be I'm just going to cast on I do have a tutorial so I will put the link on how to knit top down two four Six. I'll make it eight, eight stitches. So I'm going to be knitting one knit, one purl, because this is going to be the rib. And if you want to see the finish, I'm not going to do the entire tutorial, because I already have several tutorials. Um, I'm not going to knit the first stitch. So what I would, if you want to see the finished look, go into my Instagram page. I do post pictures there. Finished, uh, how the finished look. And this is going to be an extra small size. Mm. It will like when you're knitting with this yarn because of the uh, eyelash of the fur it's, it is uh, hard to see so you just need to uh you know focus on uh your uh, knitting Yeah, the circular needle is pretty, pretty long. So, uh, and then after I uh, start the neck area, I'm going to change it to a, I think I have a 4.5 or a 5 millimeter. I will go up, size up, just to give that nice softness. So this is all I'm knitting. Doesn't this look nice? I always admire what I uh, create. <laughs> see it looks like real angora rabbit yarn but it's not it's fake okay i just want to show you how it looks like see and i'm just knitting one pearl one knit I think it's going to turn out gorgeous. <laughs> I can't wait to finish it. My goal is to finish it by Friday and mail it to her, but I don't know. We'll see. Because uh, I, I have upgraded my techniques and I knit the sleeve in a round. So it's seamless. So that takes time for, to, for uh, me to knit the sleeves uh, round and around. Other than that, it's just only extra small size, but uh, like I said, I upgraded my um, knitting method. Like I do uh, short rows on the back to give that height. Yeah, definitely just check my tutorials uh, and then you can see. So, wow, look at this. Doesn't this look nice? I'm just admiring this as I'm knitting it. And it's super soft. That's all I can say. I can't believe how soft it is. Oops. So sometimes it's good to have yarn in your stash. Because uh, the colors match, see? can't believe it's the same color yeah okay so I'm just gonna let you go 
I just wanted to show you how you can create something one of a kind, see, by adding another strand, a totally opposite, like there's a wool in it. See, it's here, this one, and two strands of the eyelash yarn. I call it the fake rabbit yarn. Rabbit. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends, and happy knitting, everybody. Take care. Uh, I will uh, see you on a different tutorial, hopefully. <laughs>